Idaho is home to several refugee resettlement organizations and many immigrants from other countries. They tell Six on Your Side they are seeing confusion even among refugees who have already settled in the Treasure Valley. Six on Your Side's Karen Lair has tonight's big story. That's right, Donna Michelle, the International Rescue Committee in Boise works with refugees who've arrived as long as 10 years ago and as recently as last week. And now more than ever, they say they're focused on providing a safe and comforting place to live for those who call Idaho home. It is very hard to see someone who you know to be an incredible human being share that they fear for their safety here where they're supposed to be safe. International Rescue Committee Executive Director Julianne Donnelly Sewell says right now they're dealing with a lot of uncertainty. Unsure if families expected in Boise next week from overseas will ever make it. The executive order may keep family members oceans apart for months. A lot of the refugees who are scheduled to come to Boise in the next few weeks are people whose uh, brothers, sisters, parents, and spouses are already here, and they were planning to reunite with them. Donnelly Sewell says she's seen firsthand those quickly and concretely impacted by President Trump's latest immigration executive order, creating a sense of panic among refugees in the Treasure Valley for the future of immigration law in the U.S. In some cases, Julianne says the fear is almost tangible. The nine-year-old popped up out of nowhere and said, "Ah, oh, uh, are we going to get deported tomorrow? There's certainly a lot of fear in the community, a feeling that they are not welcome. Julianne urges Idahoans to remember we're all people, regardless if we arrived five weeks ago or five generations ago. Everyone who has come to the state of Idaho who's not a uh, First Nation or Native American um, has a migration story in their history. While some refugees have expressed concerns they're no longer welcome in the U.S., Julianne says the recent support from Idahoans has made a world of difference. Writing handmade cards to refugees telling them they're welcome or making their voices known at the airport. Um, so many people have been coming out to say this is not the value of our community. The value of our community is compassion. During the 120-day suspension of refugee resettlement, the IRC is prepared for the case that there may not be any new refugees settling into the Treasure Valley this spring. However, they have no plans of suspending their services or downsizing and say they will continue to strengthen the services already being offered to refugees here in the Gem State. Reporting live in studio, I'm Karen Lair, 6 on your side.